Hey guys, I hope this finds you doing well. I have not done a gig video in a long time, but I am going to start putting them on this channel. I was going to create a new channel called Your Shopper Mike, but I decided not to because I already have a subscriber base on here and it's kind of slipped away with the gaming, but I'm going to do both. I'll just have to categorize whichever one I'm posting and I hope you guys stay tuned. I do want to get some things off my chest about Instacart shoppers, mainly locally, and it could be happening in your area as well. So this, you can probably kind of relate to this. I have a lot of people that want to hang out of my car. I'm just trying to watch my Instacart app like a, a zombie. I mean, you have to stare at the phone and give Instacart your soul. Uh, you can pick up a drink of water to take a sip and lose an order that quick. That's when they'll send it, when you least expect it. So anyway, going back to people hanging out of my car, I, I am trying to focus on my app. Um, I'm a loner anyway. I don't really want to hang out. I don't want to like, cause it's like a shitload of people just start hanging out, man. It ends up being like four people. I'm under the understanding from what I've seen is some people get orders and some don't when they're all clusterfucked like that. That's what I call it. It's a clusterfuck. There's no other way to say it. No, there's other ways to say it, but that's the way I say it. But anyway, um, yeah, just stay the fuck away from my car. It's just point blank. I've tried to be nice. I've tried to say uh, i'm my windows are rolled up i've got a sun visor up i'm trying to like not be seen even though you know you see my car I, I, and i let down the window and i've got like the most disgusted fucking face because i'm just disgusted that you're coming to my car and wanting to hang out and talk i don't want to do that there's very few people i want to talk to that do this work and they know who they are I've even approached some of them and told them this video is coming out it's not about you there's a uh, young two young guys that actually are baggers and do instacart you guys are how can i say this because i've tried to get my point across to you you guys are annoying as fuck i'm just gonna be honest with you i mean when you guys add me on uh xbox trying to be uh on a fort on Fortnite with me and i play with my kids and i and i block you you don't get the fucking clue dude like i don't want to play with you i don't even want to talk to you during the day i, I just hate to be so blunt but that's just uh, you're not catching the hint anyway there's a couple with uh two kids a black car I'm trying to dial it down so you know who the fuck you are. You've talked shit about me to these baggers. You're mad because I've got orders that you think you should have gotten. Uh, all I can say is be faster. There's uh, not much more I can say about that except shut the fuck up. I I'm, I'm really tired of hearing about you talking shit about me. The orders are out there for whoever sees them on their phone and whoever gets them, gets them. I can't control it. I can't be like, oh, let me not take this one so shithead over here can get the order. Because somebody else can get the order. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I've got no control over it. So if I see a good order, I'm going to fucking take it. Just like anybody else with the, the right mind. Uh, and I'll let you just continue to take your fucking little shitty shop onlys that you always take. You ever thought about the fact that you're not getting good orders because you're doing a fucking $5 shop only? That's the moment you might be missing the big orders. So um, I, I'm just saying. Uh, I've taken an order that I thought was pretty good. And then I've had, like today, I took an order that was pretty good. And someone else let me know that they got um, an order that was a little better for shorter distance, which is awesome because I like this person. And this statement has nothing to do with what she did. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I do want to say this, though, like to the to the, to the, the kids that, that do this Instacart. Like, if I'm on an Instacart, don't come up to me and tell me how I missed a $100 order just after I accepted that one. I, one, I don't want to hear that, and two, I, I don't give a fuck. I, I'm on my order, and I want to be left the fuck alone. Don't come in the store and yell out, Hey, Mike, how much is that one? How many miles is it going? Fuck off. That's what you should do. You should just, as soon as the thought comes to your head, say, Mike, Mike wants me to fuck off, because that's what I want you to do. Leave me the fuck alone. I cannot get the point across to y'all, because there's something in there keeping y'all from understanding I don't know if it's stupidity or what it is, but you gotta, you really gotta fuck off because like, I don't want anything to do with hanging out with any of you guys. All right. So I think I got the point across now. All you gotta do now is see the video. All, all I gotta have is that one guy, the one guy see the video and he can't shut the fuck up. He's going to tell everybody about it, which is what I want. So especially for the people in the car with the, with the kids, you know, I'm not talking about your kids. So don't take this the wrong way. I don't want you coming up to me saying I talked about your kids. I'm, I'm trying to dial down who the fuck you are. You're the person with his wife, black car, two kids in the car. That's who the fuck you are. 
Stay the fuck out of my business. Tired of hearing your name come into what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just being honest. This is fucking like shopping for people, man. Like, like we're our own person. Like, like I'm doing my own business. So what I'm doing has got not a fucking thing to do with you. So mind your own business. Okay. It may come across as rude, but I don't really give a shit. This is who I am. I don't have to be this way. I'm really a nice guy, but I don't like to be fucked with. I like those people that know the boundaries. Like I have a few people I talk to. We chit chat for a little bit and then we're on our way. Don't really talk about dollars. We don't talk about, you just basically talk like, it's kind of slow today, right? And then they're like, yeah. And then stuff like that, just small talk. Don't really talk about money. Like uh, that's biggest pet peeve is to ask me how the fuck much have I made today? I don't, I don't think it's any of your business. And uh, you're probably going to get that from me from now on because I put this out here and I'm pretty sure one guy's going to watch it and you're going to let all y'all watch it. That's my hopes anyway. Cause I, I really don't want you to get caught off guard when I tell you to fuck off. Cause that's pretty much what's going to be said. I'm, I'm really sick and tired of local shoppers that I don't like. Should work the weekend only and at night only. I, I don't do any of that shit. I, don't, I, I make pretty good. I'm not worried about that. But anyway, uh, and also to the people that say you can't do this full time. I, I, I kind of agree with that. Um, I don't think you should do this full time unless you have a situation like me. Just to update you guys, I, I didn't want to really bring this up. Uh, I'm four years free of cancer to all you that have been keeping up with my channel. I just wanted to give you that update. Also, Dana's doing well. Uh, her mother passed. Um, Shelly's still here. She's fat as hell, but she's still here. <laughs> and the other cat, Gingy, she's the, she's still here. Today. My situation is special, like I say, because I quit my job. I did pest control for like 20 years and, um, you know, I developed cancer in my bladder and they were able to remove it. So I don't know if, you know, I don't know if it's pest control. There's so much things that cause cancer, but it couldn't help. You know, I've been doing it 20 years, but my, my wife, uh, she works for the government. So, you know, I talked to her about doing this full time and she was cool with it and I'm cool with it. Uh, I'm obviously not the breadwinner for the first time in my life. I'm okay with that. Power to women. There you go. Uh, she, she does a great job and she's got a very good job. So, um, I'm able to do this full time, which is Monday through Thursday. That's technically not full time, I guess, but that's what I do for a living. So I consider it full time. That's, that's what I do. And you know, that's the great thing about this job is you have the option to work Friday. I have the option to work Saturday or Sunday if it doesn't work out. For occasions where I do work on a Saturday, like if I happen to have to go to, to the Dothan area, uh, I'll, you know, I'll turn it on and then start working or something. Or if I get somebody that's priority, um, somebody that's preferred, sorry, on like shipped that, that I know tips like 50 bucks. I'll take off over there and I'll, I'll probably do, you know, like two or three more orders while I'm over there and make it worth the whole trip, you know. Do I want to work Saturdays? No, I don't want to work Saturdays. And Fridays, every time I go over on Friday, it sucks. That's like one of the worst days, in my opinion. If you guys enjoyed having another video about gig work, I haven't done one in a long time. It's been mostly about ranting about, you know, other people. It needed to be done. If you like this video, there'll be more in the near future. Thanks for watching.